Hi guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is for the zodiac sign of Aries and Aries this is your June 2015 uh, month ahead tarot forecast. So the general energy came up as the Eight of Pentacles Aries for June. The Eight of Pentacles to me suggests several things. Number one it can be about uh, becoming a student again so going back to college, relearning stuff, um, it can also be about um, being an apprentice, so being an apprentice at work, for example. So going into a new job, a new workplace, skilling up on stuff or reskilling on stuff, okay? Um, this can also be a card about repetitively doing the same thing, so tirelessly working towards something, okay? Uh, doing something over and over and over again. And I feel that the general energy is going to be for this month. Um, looking at the cards that you are going into something new I feel I feel it's I feel it's a new job I feel that um, the energy is going to be kind of um, learning new skills potentially for some of you guys and I say this because um, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about the eight of pentacles in a minute okay I, I say this because the, the first card that came up for you guys was the chariot chariot for me is a card about it can be about several things. It can be about overcoming an obstacle. It can be about inner conflict, choices, not knowing which way to go uh, because we've got a, a black sphinx and a white sphinx. So they want to go in two different directions, but this guy kind of wants to move forward. Okay, So he wants to break through um, the uh, decision that he can't make. He just wants to kind of keep on going. He wants to carry on traveling ahead. It can also be a card, a card about traveling short distances. So maybe traveling somewhere by car. So it can be a card about arriving at a certain destination okay because that's really the the ethos of the chariot it's arriving at a destination it's overcoming all of those 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 um obstacles those hurdles those things that stand in the way and finally getting to the destination that you want to reach and so i feel because we've got this ace of cups here and this ace of cups um is often a card about a new beginning the beginning of love so the seeds of love the energy of love the beginning of a new relationship that type of thing but I don't feel that this is a relationship uh, reading as such it can be because as I say the readings can be applied to any area of your life if it, you know if the cat fits basically um, and it, to me these two cards suggest arriving so something being offered the arrival of something when I look at this ace of cups it's almost like the arrival finally of this cup if you look at it closely enough it has tears falling around this cup so it's almost like the arrival of a gift it's almost like a gift being given through a difficult time okay this is what I feel here something of emotional value and I feel that with the chariot card because I see this is an, a card that suggests arriving something arriving something coming in something traveling in from somewhere from afar I feel that there's going to be the offer of something here for you guys. I feel that because we've got the Ten of Pentacles, this is going to give you great family joy. The Ten of Pentacles is a card that suggests to me, a lot of people talk about it, it suggests the windfall because there are Ten Pentacles on it, or it suggests, um, um, you know, a lottery win or, or um, an inheritance. And it can do. So, you know, it could potentially be um, the arrival of something to do with money in the family, for example, okay? You know, maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe this is something that you've been tirelessly working towards, uh, Aries, okay? Maybe you've been working towards having um, something come in for you financially, okay? Maybe it's something to do with a court case. Maybe it's, it's something to do with, um, you know, probate, that type of thing. We don't have any legal cards as such here, Okay? But I like to read cards beyond what you can actually see intuitively. So, you know, it could be the arrival of something to do with maybe money within the family. OK, maybe you're waiting for money to come from a will or something like that. But I don't necessarily feel it's that. I feel that whatever the arrival of this thing is, it could be somebody coming in from afar, coming in to visit you guys. And there's going to be a lot of family joy around that. But we do have the star card here, which always suggests to me having faith, letting the universe guide you, manifesting your desires, okay? Putting your life in the universe's hands, having faith, knowing that there are better times ahead, okay? So I feel that this is something where you guys have had to have guidance 
on. And I feel that this is something that, something that you guys have worked towards because we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay? So if it's, if, if it's a case of that it's not just about kind of starting something new, i.e. a new job, that type of thing, learning something new within a role, I feel that this is something to do with um, something potentially some of you guys have been working towards. And finally we have the culmination now of it in June. Something is arriving in finally that you've been working tirelessly towards getting in. And I feel that it's going to give great family joy because the Ten of Pentacles really suggests to me shared resources within the family okay so money coming in and we're sharing it we're all buying food we're all paying the bills you know we're all working together we're all getting a takeaway of a night you know that type of thing we're all renting a video we're all having good times with the family we're all sharing nice food that type of thing this is what this suggests to me i feel whatever this is with the chariot and the cups whatever this arrival is it's going to give great family joy and I feel that this is something that you guys, when I look at the Eight of Pentacles as the general energy and I look at the star, to me it suggests to me that it's something that you've probably worked towards manifesting into your existence. I do see with the Death card the ending and the beginning of something. And I feel that because we have the Ace of Cups here, which is almost like um, victory over adversity, that this is the closing of a door on something that um, potentially caused you a little bit of... Um, Difficulty. The chariot can suggest, as I've said, inner conflict. But it's almost like there is an ending to that inner conflict with the death card. I'm looking at the seven of wands here now. The seven of wands can mean competition and it can mean rivalry. So I feel that there will be some naysayers with this, whatever this is. Maybe some of you are being offered a job and you're, you're being asked to travel for that job or to move somewhere for that job. Okay. And maybe there's some adversity here, but I do see a lot of celebration because we have the Three of Cups directly underneath this Ten of Pentacles. So I feel that there is a lot of celebration within the family about whatever this thing is that arrives. But I do feel that there are a couple of naysayers, and I get the impression with this reading there might be an outsider. We do have this Two of Swords, somebody who is not sure about something, somebody where there is some uncertainty. So this is either you guys being somewhere along the line uncertain about something here, or this is somebody who is uncertain, who is close to your family or close to you, but is not quite so happy about this new thing that's coming in for you guys. I do feel that there is somebody who's not completely overwhelmed or happy with 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 them um, with the celebration. I, I see it as almost like somebody who's a bit of you know might be. I don't know who this might be. It might be that you're moving away to college maybe and your mother isn't very happy about it and she's finding it difficult to deal with it maybe that's why we've got the two of swords here you know for some of you guys it could be moving away to college okay it could be moving away it could be going on a trip to learn we do have this chariot card here and we do have the eight of pentacles and we do have the death card, the ending and the beginning of something. And we've got two cards that suggest that somebody is not unhappy, is that somebody's not entirely happy with this. Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. But you know what? I feel that these are two, you know, these, these aren't big enough to distract you from the good stuff that's coming in for you guys in June. I really do believe that when I look at these cards. There is a new beginning happening. Okay, somebody might not be entirely happy about it. Maybe this is where the Ace of Cups is coming in with the tears. The offer of something, but some sorrow, some upset around it, you know. That's how I see this card, personally. Great happiness tinged with a bit of sadness there. But I, I do feel that, you, you know... For some of you guys, you are going to either be taking a trip or moving on to a new job or that job could be mixed in with travel or you could be going to college and maybe your parents are going to miss you or something like that or they don't feel that they want you to go, that type of thing. But it's a very good reading. You've got a very good month ahead of you as far as I'm concerned, Cancerian, so just make the most of it. Okay, thank you for your time, guys, and I'll see you on your next reading. Bye-bye.